friends. It's uh, 2.39 in the morning. I'm just driving into the hospital. My throat is so painful, I can't sleep at all. I called the hospital to see if there's a doctor, and there is. And they can't give me an estimated wait time over the phone. So it's raining out. I left out in the dark at night. Nobody's even know I'm gone because we're all asleep, but I'll send my husband a message. Here's hoping I don't have to wait. Misha and my husband were to the outpatients last evening, and they were there for like five hours, which isn't too bad comparatively to some people. Okay, I got in. There's not really a, um, a big wait, but it's, she said it'll be a little while, but well, that's not too bad, but it is like three in the morning, so <sighs> yeah. Right, it's only been 10 minutes and he came in. I have a, a, a they're treating me for strep. So they're gonna give me the first dose here and then I'm on my way. They haven't changed the clock. I'm saying it's only five after two, but it's really five after three. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back home. Nobody's even known that I stepped out for a minute. I'm having a big fat thing of chocolate ice cream because my throat is killing me. Um, but on another note, my uvula is huge, so, you know, I'm kind of a big deal. But they gave me first dose of an antibiotic and a steroid to bring down the swelling and stuff like that. I, I will try to lay down again after this, but I need something to try to cool my throat down because it's uh, extremely painful. <sighs> All right, guys, it's 620. I ended up going upstairs after that ice cream and laying down. It took me a while to fall asleep. But as soon as, you know, eventually when I fell asleep, I only slept for about an hour because then it was time to get up again. So I am not doing anything today, hardly. <coughs> I did heat up a coffee, two months coffee, to see if I can drink it. I took these guys out for a very short walk. They did have synchronized poops, like Olympians. Honestly, it was amazing. But, um, Misha has a prescription and I have a prescription, so we got to get that today. What I'm going to do is just go in. It opens at 9. Go in, drop it off, go wait out in the truck. They'll call me when it's done. I'll go get it and come back out and I'll wear a mask. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get a tub of ice cream because the ice cream that I had was almost all of it. And that's something that's very comfortable for my throat. So chocolate ice cream it is. Yeah. I want this coffee, but I don't want it to hurt my throat. But I want the coffee, so I'm going to try to drink it. Maze's book bag's packed. Misha will not be going to school today. And, yeah, once I get the prescriptions all sorted, I... I'm going to try to get some sleep because I re I maybe got an hour sleep last night. I was in such uncomfortable pain. Like, just, I don't need to be a baby because I can take a lot of pain. But this, I couldn't breathe when I laid down. Like, and it's just like fire and pain. And, oh, it's awful. But... Anyways, I'm glad I went when I did, because there wasn't anybody there, and, you know what I mean, so, there and back within an hour, which was amazing. So, anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm outside. Randalls are up there, if you can see them. They are up there, hooting and hollering. I just fed them. Oh, here comes the bus, and we emptied the garbage bin and stuff. All right, boys, have a good day at school. I love ya. Oh. oh, gosh. The windows are all steamed up.
Okay. I'm having hot flashes or my fever's spiking or something. I took a Tylenol, so maybe it's just breaking, but... You know, when there's a shower clog and you reach your pointer finger and thumb in there and pull out a little bit of hair and you throw it up in the top corner of your bathtub and you think when you get out of the shower you'll put it in the garbage. Timothy, he's right there. He just jumped on my truck wheel. You better not stay there, bud, because I'm going to be going to town after. Anyways, you put it up on that top corner. When you get out, you'll throw it in the garbage. But you don't, and you forget, and it sits there for a couple days. And it dries only when you finally go do to throw it in the garbage. It's all dry except for one little skanky bit that's still damp. If I was something, that's what I would be right now. An old shower clog that was forgotten a couple days before it went in the garbage. But that's okay. Even shower clogs need love too, right? What are you guys looking at? You know, you don't come out when the little ones are there going out. You go out when the big ones go. Oh. Ta da! Francis, how you doing there, buddy? Oh, what the? Oh, it has to go this way. I get them mixed up. Oh, Boris is in a good mood. I'm going to feed them breakfast in a minute. But I'm going to go wake up the big kids. They'll want to drive in with me, but no, not today. Today, after they go on the bus, Misha and I and Violet and Boris will go in. To our drug peddler aka the pharmacy to get our antibiotics and then we'll uh, come home but I'm not gallivanting here there and everywhere so I have one solid mission and that's what I'm doing so now let's go get the big kids Ooh, okay guys it's 7 37 I'm gonna start making supper now because I know once I get back with my medication I'm gonna be tapping out baby and I don't want to have to worry about uh, making supper. I mean, I probably have it all done, but I got two packs of pork. Two of these, which is more than we need, but I'm going to cook them both. Pork loin center chops, boneless. This one was 7.39, and the due date's today, so no, tomorrow. The 23rd. Today's the 21st, so I'm going to cook them. We've had chicken the past couple of days. We'll do some pork. And there'll be enough here for leftovers because, yeah. Anyways, I put a little oil in the pan. I went and woke the kids up. Um, Violet and Boris are eating their breakfast. So, Misha's awake. I said, we'll go after the big kids catch the bus. And you can just sit in the truck with Violet and Boris while I run in the prescription and we'll be good. It's supposed to go down to minus six today. But I don't think I'm going to feel cold today. I say that now, but I don't know. The fire's not going. I'll end up putting this all in that big pan once they get mostly cooked. You know how I do with a bit of water and put a lid on it and let it finish cooking. I don't want to cook it to smithereens that it's right dry and hard, but you don't want it pink anymore. And this don't have no bone in it, so it's going to be real easy. I just see that there is some fat on the edge, but I can't even be bothered to cut it off. It'll just cook and you can take it off when they cut it up later. Turn this on. And I need to go get this. In the, oh, it's garbage day too. I need to put a garbage bag in there and put this in. Dang it. Maybe I can. I don't like burning styrofoam though. It's like all chemically. We'll see. Okay. They're starting to sizzle. That one over there, especially. I just emptied the dishwasher. 
and yeah. I'll turn that heat down a little bit because that's cooking faster than this other one. That's just a I want to have this all done before the big kids go out on the bus and uh, I can just uh, put it in the fridge till closer to supper time and find something else to do with it. I did get french fries yesterday or I don't know. I'll find something. I can make craft dinner as a side. I don't know. Oh, I see Larry down there wheeling up his garbage in a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got the garbage out. That's a big deal. And that'll be picked up by the time we get back and get in our prescription. So recycle probably not, but... on that side. I'll flip it over and put salt and pepper on that side. And then, like, around the other side a little bit and season that. And, yeah, I'll combine the two pans and do my thing. That one right off. Yeah, it's brown on that side, but I'm sure the inside isn't quite cooked yet, and so that's why I kind of steam it after it gets brown like that. So, nothing exciting here, but I'll continue to do this and I'll show you when it's all together. Alright, it's 7.56. I just put some water in here. Some of them are standing up, some of them aren't, just so I can go bray on the other side. But I have it askew a little bit, and it'll finish cooking this way. And, yeah, it'll be good for supper. Alright, I set my timer for 10 minutes. I'll go out and check it, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, I hear them moving around upstairs, so, um, yeah. Yeah, the Sobeys Pharmacy, or like the pharmacy that we go to, doesn't open till 9, so we'll go there. It'll take a minute for them to, like, get the prescriptions together. Oh, on my way home from the hospital mid-morning, this morning, early morning, I stopped and got some gas, so I don't have to worry about that. And, yeah, I'm just thinking, with that, I did get a... Like, my husband got a bunch of craft dinner boxes. They could have, like, mac and cheese, craft dinner, pork chops, and then a vegetable. That's probably what I'll do. It's easy. 
I mean, I do have potatoes, but I am not in the mood to peel potatoes and all that stuff. <coughs> Ouch. But yes, and I will absolutely wear a mask when I go into the store. But they are treating me for strep. They, they said they can't really test for strep right away, but it seems like strep. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever, I'll take whatever. But it's just amoxicillin and some steroid. Um, just because I have a history of uh, pneumonia. And just to be extra cautious, I'm like, all good. But that they gave me a dose before I left the hospital last night or this morning. And that steroid has already made a difference on my uvula or whatever because it was so swollen. I had a hard time laying down and stuff. Like it just, it was so painful. And uh, so that's helping with the inflammation for sure. But anyways, yeah, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer. But this is this is my life right now. And it's just, uh, yeah, I was trying to not have to go to the doctor because I know if it's a virus, like, there's not really anything they can do for it. But last night was just horrendous for me. And I was like, oh, if I'm going to go, I might as well go now because I did call the hospital before I left. I'm like, is there, is there a doctor? Because I would hate to drive in there and there is no doctor, but... I didn't know if there was going to be a doctor tomorrow, so I might as well go now. Otherwise, I'd have to drive over an hour away to see a doctor, and I certainly don't want to do that. But anyways, I think I might start a book today if my mind can concentrate. I finally did finish that Stolen Tongues, and then I read um, Intercept, which was another really good one. I really like Stolen Tongues. I really like Intercept. Um, they're both horror. This one is too. It's Darcy Coates. I've read one of her books before. The Haunting of Ash Burn, like a haunted house one. This one is like a haunted manor too, I believe. Um, she's very popular, but it's more like a cozy read for me. Like they're not her horrific. They're easy. They're kind of gentle. They're kind of creepy, but you know they're manageable. And um, yeah, it's a safe kind of read for me. I bought a second hand. Most of my books I buy second hand anyways. And this one is well loved. I love that the pages are curled a bit. Uh, somebody was carrying this around with them. Somebody was loving on this book. This feeling. And it's a floppyish book. Uh, not as floppy as some, but it's, I don't know. I like that. I don't mind. I don't mind a bit of wear and tear. It just shows that somebody really loved this book and they loved it so much they want to share it with somebody. And that somebody is me. So I might start that one today. It was on my March potential, maybe TBR list of books that I delegated for myself to pick from. There was like 15 or 16 books I picked out for this month. Not that I'm going to read all those. I know I'm not, but um, this was one of them. So, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh, oh, I thought it was the garbage men. But the wind, the wind is making the noise. Look at the sun coming out, though. Look at that. That was all, like, clouded this morning. Rainy, cloudy. It's cold out, but it's nice. Oh, meesh. We're going to go cruising for a bruising until we get back. Yeah. Boris, you're going to be our backseat driver. Yeah, you are. You and Violet. Oh, Timothy and Bethany are out there going up and down that tree. Can they even fit in the back? Yeah, they fit in the backseat of the truck. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little noggin. Pay for what? The paper. Yes, I have it in my little bag. All right. 820. It's all done. I'm just going to let it cool down. I'll deal with it when I get back from town. All right, guys. I just brought out compost and those two pork things to put in the garbage bag. Put the compost in the compost, but... Wait for my two oldest ones to come out. They're being slow pokes. 
All right, children, I love you so much. Have the best day ever. Fill a bucket. <sighs> there they go. I'm going to put them right in the truck when I unhook them. And Misha and I. Oh, there's Harold and Arnold were out there. There's one of them. They're big, big old squirrels. I think that one's Harold. Arnold was there too, but he's probably up in a tree. They're like twice the size of Timothy. And Bethany and those guys. Yeah, I don't see. Violet, you're shaking. Is it because you see him over there and you just want to, she wants to go after him. All right, the big kid's gone. Team shower clog, unite. Let's go get our drugs. All right, Violet and Boris are having a cow. Misha's with me. She'll come back out after, but we need to go drop this off. And uh, I want to get some ice cream. They'll settle down. That's Boris, not Violet. Okay, we dropped the prescriptions off. These are two for five dollars. Grapes are four ninety-nine a pound. I can't get grapes on. That's just too outrageous. Those peaches are nectarines. Peaches. Do you think we should? Well, I don't know. Um, what one do you think looks good? Those are like, they're nectarines. They're like peaches only, not fuzzy. Just make sure they look good. Does that one look like it has more in it? I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. We got oranges and bananas yesterday. So there's some peaches and raspberries. Oh, let's see. Like, cucumbers are $2.49. They're the same as uh, Superstore cucumbers. Yeah, I don't come to Sobeys a whole lot. But sometimes they do have better deals than Superstore. Not very often, though. Well, it depends. Specific things they do. Those big packs of pepperoni. I think they used to be like $10.99 or $12.99. Now they're $16.99. Yeesh. Huh? Yeah. around. We have a little time. Just looking at canned vegetables. It's three for three ninety nine. That's on sale. No, I know, but that's like one can regular one ninety nine. Like that's never used to be that. Sometimes they have these little carts. Tim Hortons coffee browns. That's 50% off, but 529 regular. No oh, chicken broth. Dishwasher packs. Yeah, $16.99. So that's still like about $9. 30 packs. I don't know if that's good. I bought that powder yesterday. Poop bags. Yeah, sometimes they have a marked down one over here. Yeah. Yeah, your ear is plugged. Light bulbs. Christmas tree soap company. This. All skin types magical mist. Veggie snacks, salted. Am I down? I don't know. Oh, Dad could dye his beard. 
What is that? I don't know. A lunch kettle. Refill your dispenser as needed. Learn more. That was a Okay. Yeah. Oh, those are cute. I don't need them, but they're cute. Okay, I want to look at ice cream niche. Oh, look. Look at that big beast. $10.99. Sheesh. What my husband usually gets is something creamy. It's not that, but that's creamy. It's like in a square box. But... probably a soup. Oh, that one. Chapman's. I think. But it's chocolate that he gets. Or like caramel or something. I just want straight up chocolate. Oh, that's those Casa de Mama. They're on for $3.49. Save $3.52. I'll get some. They don't care for the pineapple ones that much. I don't mind them, but it's not tomato sauce. It's like a white sauce, but yeah. I'll get some for the kids. Okay, we'll get that orange juice. Get both. Low pulp. That one's pulp free, so it doesn't have the feathers. Yeah, put that in. The 29th, $4.99. Is that the 20th or the 29th? 29th. What is that? Oh, grapefruit juice. I like it, but the kids not so much. That was surprising. I don't generally see, you know, stuff like that. 50% off here. But again, I don't come here very often. Um, Marie calendars. How much are those there? Yeah, $2.99. That is not very good. This is where Dad gets those trays of eggs. We have some. That's a pretty good price, four ninety nine. But I don't want to go overboard right now. gonna get one of these I know it's margarine but it's $5.99 save $3.50 oh oh snap oh they have turkeys here let me check the price oh, oh turkeys here too buy two or more $7.99 each that can't be right must be $7.99 $28.44 Four eighty. This is a nice big one. Fifty bucks. Fifty six forty one. That's a giant one down there. Fifty dollars and fifty four cents. Oh, Nisha's my little cash register. So we got pizza. Is it not working? All right. I've seen the drug dealer. Her name is Tracy and her sidekick's Francine, but they're very nice. Pharmacy and the other oh, pharmacist see. assistant. Anyways, it's starting to bluster. I don't think it's supposed to amount to much. No, Misha, I'm not going to the NSLC. That's what the liquor store here is in Nova Scotia. Stop asking me to go there. <laughs> oh, 
That's one of those big bum trucks. Wonder if it's gonna shake its body. Do a little twerk for us there, buddy. Oh, the power up there. What is the pow up there for? All right, guys, we made it home. I am immediately taking my antibiotic after I've done this, but Misha, when they sent her home from the hospital, about nine o'clock last night, they sent her another dose for this morning, so she's had some. But I'll show you what I got at Sobeys while we were waiting. This juice, heart-wise, regular $5.99, 50% off. No pulp. And then two of these Oasis orange juices, no pulp, $6.49. Got those two. And I... Here's the table. I bought a turkey. This was $50.54. It was $5.49 a kg. Frozen. I'm going to put it in the deep freezer downstairs. I got room for this big beast down there. I could buy a cheaper one, but if I'm doing a turkey dinner, I want to have plenty of turkey for leftovers. And um, I don't want to scrimp. I don't want to scrimp on that. So I got one. Uh, you've seen most of this stuff in the card anyways, but peaches, raspberry, two for five dollars, raspberries. I got two of these ice creams. They were on sale for $3.99 each, Best Buy, chocolate ice cream for moi. And then I got those pizzas, like I said. Three meat, three meat, pepperoni, and classic Canadian. It has mushrooms and bacon and ham on it. And then I got that margarine and those yogurts. That's everything I got. Yeah, and our antibiotic. I take it for 10 days. Misha takes it for 7 days. That's Misha's. 500 milligram dose amoxicillin. So. Hip hip hooray. Alright, let me put this away. Oh, the snow followed us home. When we got here, it wasn't snowing yet. But it followed us home. Team shower clog. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Misha and I and Violet and Boris went up and laid down for a little bit. It's 1.33. I certainly didn't get the sleep I need to get. So this evening I'll go to bed early. This is about as high I can, I can talk, so hopefully you can hear me. But I'm gonna end up seeing this cauliflower I got the other day. I'll steam it and I don't know, throw some seasoning on it. That can go with the pork chops. And I remembered I had this. It's sweet kale, uh, green cabbage, kale, broccoli stalks, and I. It has like a thing of cranberries probably in it thing and pumpkin seeds. I'm not going to use that all, but I'm going to fry that up. When I got home, I put that pork chop pan in the porch because it's cold out there. I just put the pork chops on the plate, put them in the fridge. But Ooh. Look at that. That's all flavor. I'm gonna fry this cabbage stuff up in that. And if I have to add some bacon grease, I'll do that. Gosh, I'm not gonna steam that bro um, cauliflower now because that won't take long at all. That steams faster than broccoli does. But the stalks of broccoli are much harder than cauliflower, anyways. Let's see. Ooh. Not putting the cranberries or the pumpkin seeds in. The kids don't really care for pumpkin seeds unless we roast them ourselves. Like, you know, have a pumpkin and eat them that way. 
but I will put this in the fridge. And then, there, that looks good. Kale and cabbage take a little longer to cook than broccoli. But, uh, there's purple bro bro uh, yeah, broccoli, but there's purple cabbage in here too. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I was thinking, oh, I'll make that with bacon and grease, but once I took those pork chops out of that pan, there's a whole bunch of pork drippings and stuff. Why not just cook it up in that? But I was thinking I'll add egg to it, but not everybody will eat it with egg. So that's fine. We'll just do it this way. I'm just trying to get all that stuff off the bottom now. It'll take a minute to get going, but... I'm not going to cook it on full blast the whole time. I'll turn it down to medium. It's only early. And eventually it'll wilt down some. And that was all 50% off, so not too shabby. Yeah, I know we have cheese, but I don't feel like grating cheese for the cauliflower. I might do uh, some oil and Parmesan cheese, maybe. Or some hot sauce. I could put hot sauce in that. I don't know. I was going to make craft dinner, but this is even better. Um, and my kids like fried greens. And they do like cauliflower. They like broccoli. So why not? Why the flip knot? Flip knot. Slip knot. See? That looks good. Why not? I might have to add a little just a splash of water in here. Maybe I should do that now. To kind of steam it a bit and get it going. And I'll put a lid on it until it gets going. And then it'll work its way down. And I do got some bacon grease in the fridge. That wasn't very much. I do got some bacon grease in there. If I need it. And I do have bacon bits too, but... I'll keep it a straight up veg. Oh, it's too slow. I'm impatient. All right, this is what we're doing with pork chops. We'll throw together a nice, um, nice supper. Um, I'm gonna take my other antibiotic. Well, it's three times a day, so I could take it. I took it around, what was it, 10 o'clock when we got home? I'll take it around four o'clock and then nine o'clock. Misha will take it around when Maze gets home because she took it seven o'clock this morning. And bedtime. And we'll go from there. But that steroid he gave me certainly made a drastic improvement in my discomfort. It's still very agitated. I don't want to cough because it hurts so bad. But just being quiet, standing still, was so painful. I drove myself to the friggin' hospital in the middle of the night for a sore throat. But I knew it wasn't just, I don't know. I was scared that it wasn't going to be uh, just a virus. And viruses, they don't really do a whole lot for. Bacterial infections, they do. But, and I looked it up on Dr. Google, which you shouldn't. I had my phone up taking a picture of my throat. I couldn't see any white spots, but it was hard to see my dangly bit in the back. Uh, but yeah, he said it was huge. So that's probably why I couldn't see or didn't know that's what I was looking at. Because uh, I'm just like, this This is just awful. Oh, Anyways, I need to a watch pot never boils, even though I'm not boiling anything. A watch pan never starts to fry, so I'll be back. All right, it's coming up. It smells like pork chop is what it smells like. Oh, 
thought I just lined the two garbage cans out in the porch. So the cycle bag and the garbage bag. Okay. All right, I just tried a bit of it. Let me show you what it looks like. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to add salt to it. It's not really salty, but like the drippings would have had some salt because I did salt the meat. Those guys can throw vinegar on here or hot sauce or more spices if they want. But I'm just going to shut it off. And yeah, I think I'm going to get it out of this pan because I can load this pan in the dishwasher and get the dishwasher going. And it's only 152. I'll do that broth er, cauliflower after and just warm up the pork, but this is done. Exciting. Oh gosh, I gotta wipe my friggin' stove top off. Um, there it is. I'm gonna wipe this greasy stove top off, but perfect. All right, this is my third bowl of ice cream in the last 12 hours. That's the only thing that really makes my throat feel better. Something cold, and I am a chocoholic, just so you know. Not the greatest thing for you, but I feeling bored, hungry, maybe. I don't know, but I'm going to have some more ice cream. Why not? That's what I got it for. All right. I just put Violet and Boris out. I didn't go for a walk this afternoon. I just don't have it in me. Ooh, it's kind of windy out. And I know it's not technically really cold out, but with the wind chill, it's like minus seven, but it's really only minus one. But wind chill, you know. But to me, it's minus 100 because I'm cold. <laughs> These guys are fine. I'm going to sit on the table because my chair is wet. Oh, gosh. But I see our garbage is all gone and recycled, so that's awesome. All right. I was going to come in and look for a hat, but he's here now anyway, so that's good. Hat was school. I can't yell. For heaven's sakes, Violet. That was school. Good. All right, I just wanted to show you the supper. So I just put some, I mean, it's not real. It's craft Parmesan. Just threw it on there. If I had some minced garlic, I'd throw that in there too. And if I had olive oil, I'd put a bit, but it's okay. It'll all come out. It's fine. There's that. There's this. I just heated up Mesa plate. He wants to try those fried greens because he's used to just like fried cabbage or fried spinach or fried, but not at all mixed together. I put a cap full of this apple cider vinegar with the mother. And this is the sauce for his pork. He likes the hickory smoke. So he's welcome to have more of the greens after he tries it. But yeah, that's supper. Oh, Misha's getting hers done. Oh, she's trying some of that green stuff too. Man, I Mazaya had uh, had a full plate and stuff, but it's starting to snow again. I'd make a fire, but I don't have kindling, and I just don't have the energy to go try to make some. So my husband will be here in a bit, and I'll get him to make one because I just can't do it. All right, everybody had a good feed. Um, I just made a plate for my husband. He's still working. He just needs to heat it up when he gets home. And this is what's left over. There's two pieces of pork left, which is less than I thought there would be. All right, another little bit of the green stuff and a little bit of cauliflower. I know my husband will eat the best stuff. Mally ate some. They all did. Except Maze didn't want the cauliflower. 
And Misha didn't want the cauliflower, but yeah. Anyways, that's his plate. Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from another day. I am putting an ending on this. My voice is still not back to normal, and this is a few days out, but it's not as sore, I can say. It's 9.05 in the morning, and I wanted to get another video edited. Whew. So, yeah, it's rainy. It's compost day today. Oh, me hooting and hollering. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.